Hey everybody, John Shear here with Fame Internet Marketing. I had a great opportunity to travel a little bit recently. Uh, we were down in Port-au-Prince looking at some property um, and I shot some footage uh, to make a little bit of presentation when we came back with both my cell phone camera and with a EOS M uh, Canon camera. I was really disappointed when I got back with the footage from most of them because it was just too shaky to be usable. Um, when I prop it up and hold it still, it did okay, but just as far as moving around, especially on a vehicle, being out in the countryside, you can see the footage I'm showing you here. It's really just useless. Uh, so I came back, I started looking at some stabilizing options, and I came across a couple of options that looked really interesting to me. One is a handheld gimbal. Um, I have a GoPro Hero 4 that I fly on my drone. Um, and then I also saw about the same time that the Hero 5 Black GoPro was going to have built-in stabilization. Two great options, so I did the only reasonable thing. I picked up a GoPro 5 and I picked up the handheld stabilizer gimbal for the GoPro 4. Um, it's really nice, it's smooth, fairly easy to use, has some neat advanced modes. Um, but I got both of those and what I did was took a walk around with both of them, GoPro in one hand, gimbal in the other, I'm going to upload the footage here. You guys can see what you think. Um, for me, it's a pretty obvious choice. I'm sure it will be for you as well, but I'd be curious to hear what you think. So again, this is me walking around with a GoPro Hero 5 and a Hero 4 Black on a Fiutech G4 3-axis gimbal. Take a look and let me know what you think. 